All right. Hello, students. I hope everybody's doing well. Everybody's still healthy and managing as well as can be expected. These are challenging times and uh, I'm thinking of all of you and hope, wishing, wishing good thoughts for everybody. So um, we all have a lot of time in our hands. And when I have a lot of time on my hands, I like to do jigsaw puzzles. Uh, and I had a great idea that maybe we could make some of our own puzzles. Uh, do it yourself puzzle. So what you need for this is a pair of scissors and some kind of image. This is an image. We'll put that right side up from a catalog or if you want you can use an image. This is from a calendar. You can use any kind of image is fine. What you're going to do is you're going to take your image and you're going to cut it up and you can cut it in with uh, all kinds of lines. You can use zigzag lines. Um, you can use curve lines. Hard to see, I know. Uh, you can use straight lines, but you want to cut it up into as many pieces as uh, you want. If you cut into a lot of pieces and you use all straight lines, it's going to be really hard to put together. Um, I have a couple examples of what I did. This is from a calendar and I cut this into eight pieces and I used a combination of zigzag lines and um, and curve lines is reasonably easy to put together um, and then my first attempt was this one and I cut all straight lines and I used cut into 54 pieces it was quite a challenge to put together also the pattern was really uniform but uh, so I would, if I were you kids, I would start pretty easy and then if it's too easy, you can cut it up some more. I glued these down, but you don't, you don't, there's no need to glue them down. You can just assemble them on a nice flat surface. Um, yeah, have fun. Um, I hope that this works out for you and I look forward to seeing you soon in the flesh in school i hope that happens soon all right bye bye